Skeleton King recently got a buff where he now spawns in guards with his super. Let's take a look at a Skeleton King deck that will help you push up some trophies if you're feeling like playing some SK. All right, here we go. Queuing up with the SK. Hey, we're going up against the Pink Fury. SK did recently get a buff that um, kind of put him in a scenario where he is uh, pretty decent. I also feel like he's a little bit inconsistent. Let's actually just go through with this. Um, I don't think... Oh, he does play something with Pink Fury. Wow, he's going to go with the Battle Healer. Okay, interesting. So either way i think he loses this first round i don't really think there's much he can do pink fury is going to be able to take down one of the guards that spawns in but now the dissipate's going to be coming through from our skeleton king um so really not going to be able to get much going for that pink fury so he's going to lose this first round and i've seen people with like sk witch cheese and everything like that um so in this specific deck we have the prince to be able to help knock things back we also have the valkyrie for some splash damage and honestly because he has the battle healer i think i want to drop our valkyrie with the anti-heal um so that way we're able to get some good value then of course we have the golden giant in the deck for some stunt let's actually go for the wizard and then i mean dark goblin's just insane this meta so um let's actually go for wizard value we're gonna go with the anti-heal on the back side um so oh yes valkyrie we have double anti-heal cooking through we have the valkyrie with the anti-heal we have our wizard with the anti-heal this is going to be some pretty solid value for us valkyrie is going to start cooking through he does get the shot with the pink fury before it gets taken down but honestly not going to be too big of a deal wizard and sk going to be able to clean up this healing ranger no problem so typically in this deck what i like to do is I like to keep the prince that way if they have any um giant skeletons mega knight what have you if you need to push a tank back that's what you utilize the prince for in the stack so that way you can start to get them some value with the splash damage of the wizard and the valkyrie then you have the dark goblin for some high dps and then if you happen to be going up against units that stun that's where you throw in the golden giant and utilize that as a tank so those are going to be the different strategies that you want i'm just going to full send this valkyrie here to level three i think that's going to be your best option because he's just he's committing to heal right now um he does have that miner coming through on the backside. so now what we'll do um moving forward is i could probably grab a prince um and maybe just maybe if we are true blue um we'll be able to get the win but actually it doesn't matter miner's gonna get that booze he just speed and he thomed Thuman. All right, but we're able to get a quick, clean, and easy 3-0 with the Skeleton King. All right, here we go. With the Skeleton King, we are going to be going against a Wave Master. Interesting. Okay, I think I'm going to play SK here because I have a feeling he's playing Wave Master Royal Ghost. Um, so we could probably just get some good value with our SK just by leaving him kind of in this middle spot. Yep, there's a Wave Master. Um, ghost we're going to be able to get our energy bar built up he's going to have that attack speed the slow is going to be coming in now we're going to be dropping down and we are going to be able to get that isolation rolling through and his Royal ghost is focused onto our sk which is perfectly fine now we have our sk boom just obliterating that wave master there it is um he's gonna have to do something else if he wants to uh to come out on top here um let's see i think the best play here i really think the best play here is grabbing valkyrie upgrades so let's grab the uh anti-heal and i just get no valks right there um that's not good at all okay we'll just roll with the one valkyrie for now I don't know if I want to play Prince or Dark Goblin yet, so I want to kind of keep those uh, in reserve if I want, if I need them. Uh, and the Valkyrie is where things are going to help me out here because the Valkyrie is going to be able to start getting some uh, splash damage onto that Royal Ghost, um, which is going to be the key factor here. SK is going to get taken down and his Royal Ghost is going to be able to help clean things up. I think if our Valkyrie was level 3, that's a completely different round there. But unfortunately, the rerolls just weren't in our favor. Um, so, you know, is what it is. Let's grab the Boast as well. 
And I think I want to go with our Dark Goblin in this corner. Let's go with the Dark Goblin with the attack speed. And there we go. Now we can start cooking with the Valkyrie. We'll leave the Dark Goblin over there. Um, he's just going to mind his own business. Let's see if he ends up playing anything else. Goes with the Healing Ranger on the backside. Everything is going to focus onto that. Uh, and now, oh boy, now the Dark Goblin is going to take the brute force of the uh, Wave Master play. And I think, ooh. Oh, yes. Valkyrie is going to be coming in clutch. She's going to be right in the middle of all that uh, SK. Come on, Valkyrie. Come on, Valkyrie. Come on, Wave Master. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. This is just brutal. All right. So next, what we need to do, let's just drop a Prince in the middle here. Um, Prince is just going to go onto this Wave Master. We're going to have our Golden Giant on this backside. Let's go with the Dark Goblin upgrade here. And we're just going to leave this as is. Let's roll with this. Let's see what we got rolling through here. Kind of just body blocking there. We're going to knock that back. We have our uh, Valkyrie. Oh, man. The Dark Goblin still just getting obliterated on that backside. We do, uh, however, the guard. Oh, Valkyrie. Nice. The Valkyrie got the anti-heal hit. Now it's going to be cooking through. Here it is. We might be able to pull this off. The victory is going to be nice. Come on, come on. Yes, there it is. All right, we're clutching up now. Now we are talking. Now we're tied up 2-2. We definitely got to take this Wavemaster Rogus player down. Um, let's go. Uh, Clash deals 20 damage. That's going to be huge. Uh, and then, honestly, I kind of want to get our Dark Goblin. I don't know if I want to upgrade the Dark Goblin because I feel like the Royal Ghost is just going to kill the Dark Goblin. So I kind of want to go... Um, with the pony ability because the times two attack is not going to matter because the invisible is going to last for six seconds the times two attack only lasts for five seconds so honestly not much is going to be happening there and yep now the pony is going to be coming through our dark hobbin is actually going to start to be able to cook here uh royal ghost is going to get knocked back here by the super uh oh man this is where we're going to start cooking because the valkyrie is in range of both the wave master and the royal ghost Come on, come on, SK, come on, SK, get the shot. Yes, there it is. GG well played. We take down the Wave Master Royal Ghost with the new and improved Skeleton King.